everybody, Marjorie here. So I decided it was time to make a video about what it's been like to be me on the road. And by me, I probably just mean a higher maintenance individual. I would say female, but I think there are a lot of people out there, male and female, that um, have high maintenance issues like I do. So um, I decided I would share sort of how I adapted my life to fit in the truck. Um, before I worked in professional environments and I had the wardrobe that matched it um, and I thought you know I'm gonna have to get rid of all my clothes and buy all jogging pants and just kind of live the truck life but the truck life I've learned you can make it work for you you can make it um, comfortable for you by just sort of adapting what you do so I thought I'd share a little bit about my routine um, just to show you how I have adapted to living in a truck uh, so I don't lose myself, so to speak. So I am a firm believer in self-care and for me, self-care is um, taking care of yourself not only like physically but also mentally. So if you think about it, scent is a really, really big part of everyone's life. So one of the things that I have in the truck um, to try to make myself feel more at home and adapted is I keep a lot of scented items that you know you can choose your own flavor but for example I like to keep these are the sachets that you can put in your drawers um, and your small spaces so I keep these literally everywhere um, I put them in with my clothing I stick them everywhere they're like above my visor so Pretty much you can smell the sense of fall, summer, spring, whatever you like at any time in my truck. Um, I also do keep, um, just depending on if I have downtime, obviously be careful, use at your own risk, but I keep scented candles, which can also come in handy in a winter emergency. Um, I also keep these little guys plugged in, so um, they're pretty good. They fill the space and I really like them. As far as being high maintenance, um, I do wear makeup. Uh, that was a big deal for me. I always wore makeup. I seldom like to go without it. It's just part of me. So I actually bring all of my makeup with, and I have a few products I use because, you know, at the end of the day, the problem wasn't wearing makeup. It was how do I get it off? And you don't always have a sink. So um, I use products such as um, like micellar water and then I have like a facial toner that I like to use um, so I keep handy the the larger cotton pads usually like two packages of them because I find that depending on how much makeup you're wearing you might need to use two or three of these guys to get it all off so I keep the makeup towel and of course I've got a mirror for all my makeup and tweezing needs so um, I do have a pretty substantial makeup kit that I keep with me as well. Um, and I have a giant hat collection because that's just kind of time consuming. Um, and if I have time, I will, I will, you know, do my hair and go all out. But usually I just put it up. I've grown it out quite a bit and um, wear the hats. But I love hats anyway. That's always been something I've liked. So I have got a giant collection of hats. So. Winter's my time too because, you know, hats. So some of my other routine is just like skincare because I think in the truck you feel the elements more because we're outside all the time. Um, sometimes it can be difficult, you know, to keep your truck uh, climate controlled and it does tend to get dry. So I keep my large lotion with me at all times as well. Um, and my favorite brand and scent also has uh, hair care products. So um, I just try to keep everything conditioned, moisturized, and just try to stay on top of it that way. Um, also, I must say, you know, for a while I struggled with, with the whole clothing thing. And, and I did end up buying some stuff that I normally wouldn't wear. But eventually I thought about all my clothes that I love, my beautiful clothes that are basically sitting and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna bring them and wear them because why not? 
I enjoy wearing my nice clothes. Um, they're not gonna do me any good sitting in a closet, and if I wreck them, so be it. At least I wore them. So, you know what? I'm a little bit extra. I've got some extra sweaters. So, what I say to you is be extra. Go ahead and wear that fuzzy sweater and just enjoy yourself because at the end of the day, every day is a journey and not a destination. So, you gotta enjoy the journey. But anyway, that's just a little bit about me and how I have adapted to trucking. So cheers, take care out there, bye-bye.